हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई सी ई अकेडमी बेनिफेक्टर इन दिस क्लास विल बी सींग एडवांटेजेस ऑफ नेगेटिव फीडबैक इन विच विल बी कवरिंग द टॉपिक हाउ बैंड विद इज इंक्रीज सो द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ नेगेटिव फीडबैक आर स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ गेन रिडक्शन इन डिस्टॉर्शन रिडक्शन इन नॉइज इंक्रीज बैंड विड increased input impedance decreased output impedance so these are the advantages of negative feedback coming to the block diagram of negative feedback this is the basic amplifier of gain a a feedback network of ratio beta this feedback network will take a part of output and feed and give it back to the input to the mixer the feedback signal will be in opposite phase with the incoming input signal which is shown by the polarity plus and minus plus and minus indicates that the feedback signal is out of phase with the incoming input signal xi is the difference signal xs minus xf what is xf beta times of x not the output signal the gain equation of negative feedback is AF is equal to A by one plus A beta. A is the open loop gain. AF is the closed loop gain. So AF is equal to A by one plus A beta. So let us now see how bandwidth is increased. The bandwidth is increased can be proved by the equation. bandwidth with feedback is denoted by bwf and bandwidth without feedback is denoted by bw a is the open loop gain and beta is the feedback ratio so bandwidth with feedback is equal to bandwidth without feedback dot 1 plus a beta so it is increased the this is the open loop bandwidth it is multiplied by certain factor so bandwidth is increased so this is a mathematical equation to tell that bandwidth is increased so what is equation bwf is equal to bw dot 1 plus a beta now let us see the graph gain versus frequency graph okay so in this graph this is a graph gain versus frequency graph of an amplifier so in this graph we can the graph comes to be like this we can divide this graph into three regions where the gain is stable that is denoted by a mid okay and uh, so where the gain is constant throughout so this is a mid frequency region middle region where we denoted by the gain is denoted by a mid okay and this region is known as low frequency and this region is known as where there is rise in gain gain that is low frequency and then from middle part from the constant it's decreasing so this is high frequency so in this the gain is denoted by a low and here the gain is denoted by a high okay so in this way we can uh, see this graph a mid a low a high so this is represented in terms of open loop if uh, the symbols for closed loop the gain equation the gain will be this a low with feedback what will be the symbol used a f low this is with feedback a mid without feedback and when with feedback it will be written af mid and a high without feedback now the symbol used with feedback will be af high okay in this way we have to use the notations so we know the gain of negative feedback what is the gain equation af is equal to a by 1 plus a beta now how many gains are there a mid a low a high so let us first write the gain equation of af mid 
So, F mid. So, what will be written here? A mid by 1 plus A mid beta A F low. We have to take the reference of this basic gain equation of negative feedback and write the three gain equations A F mid A F low. A F low is equal to A low by 1 plus A low beta A F high is equal to A high by 1 plus A high beta. Okay, so, these are the basic equation you need to remember. This is the gain equation of negative feedback and then we have written three gain equation A f mid, A f low and A f high. Now, looking at first we have seen the mathematical equation how the bandwidth is in increase bandwidth with feedback is equal to B w dot 1 plus A beta. B w is a bandwidth without feedback, B w f is a bandwidth with feedback. Now, coming to the graphical representation, if we see this is a y axis is the gain and the x axis is frequency. The first graph is without feedback, this is without feedback, that is open loop, without feedback other name is open loop, open loop circuit and the second graph is, is for closed loop closed loop means with feedback. What type of feedback? With negative feedback. Okay. So, in these two graphs if you see this is the constant part which is the gain is represented by A mid. If you take 1 by root 2 times of A mid you can locate this point. Okay. From there, if you draw this line, it will come as F L and in the higher frequency range, it is denoted by F H. The region between F L and F H is known as bandwidth. The range of frequencies through which the signals can pass through the amplifier without attenuation. So, this is the B W means without feedback. Now, when the graph is drawn with feedback, when after applying negative feedback, we observe that this F L has gone to, to some lower level, which is represented by F L F and this F H has increased to F H F. So, this the difference between F H F and F L F will give the bandwidth with feedback. So, we see that the bandwidth is increased with feedback. Okay.